par là. Good morning, ma'am. That's a real problematic Does the radio situation. Cover the it covers country? the entire country. We we have set up radio stations in every part. That's one of the things. I think um, you know you had a chance to go see the health post, the health post, the, how it's going to be ensuring that we have uh, the necessary funding for the expansion as uh, photographs of uh, the health post in Camunda, which is our our um, I guess our sample health post that we show everybody. It's probably the largest health post we have. It's the best equipped. Uh, that one would be a real good one, so you get an idea of, of what's happening. Um, on the, that's fairly important. Uh, it, it ties in well with the demining operations, with the ICRC's operations at the Orthopedic uh, Center. So the demining or the mine awareness is something that we will definitely ensure is within the program description and the work plan this will that, year. Will that that can be explained? So to set up the TOT classes, we can take those out into the provinces and do it at a real fairly fast clip and cost effective clip. I think, I think the, the only thing that we would need is mainly ensuring that we have the uh, instruction, instructional props for the instructors. That's going to be the main, the main issue on this thing. Where's the, co the coordination? What is it? Yeah, so we cover the mines areas particularly between you. Is yeah, we, we would cover it within our normal coordination uh, meetings as such. Okay. Anything else on the Federation? Anything on the Federation program that we should be going well, I, I, can I just and within the system? Okay, Bengal is where we've been operating the longest out in the field. It's, it's got uh, five health posts in there. It's, it's set up for an expansion of one health post. Um, that is probably one of the. Uh, oh, but it's quite dangerous up there. Where Bengal? Yeah, you're going to have anywhere you're going to go out in the provinces. You're going to have some people danger. People keep telling me why have you picked this area, British Red Cross? You know, it's uh, this is what I want. Well, to yeah, well, it's got it's got its problems. I mean, and that's why we're there. It, there's in the area. Well, we'll do our best. I mean, that's one of the things I need to go back and talk to Jeff and the team about to see if we can't uh, well, yeah, en encourage our encourage. Uh, ODA to do something in the EU, particularly because there's some, there's some accurate. Right. right. I'll be up in Geneva on the 27th or on the 31st for the Angola uh, donors meeting. So that's first of? Of January. So if we can have ah. somebody from your offices there, we'd appreciate that too. Uh, well, we'll get, yeah. So there's a donors meeting. Yes, right. It'll probably be the desk office, so I should see. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. Okay, Michelle, what about you? How do you think it's gone? Yeah, as you know, we are scaling down our operation due to the, the project. Um, during '96, we had uh, an important operation, either on the relief and rehabilitation, medical and uh, water system rehabilitation. The six months project delegated to the British Red Cross, we have seen one of the health posts yesterday, this project of four posts uh, has been terminated successfully uh, in December uh, and needs support on those fields. Uh, basic health care, uh, water and sanitation, certainly the two most basic services we can provide. Prisoner, there are still some issues to be addressed. We will concentrate, of course, on dissemination. That's the, the, the main of our focus. This process is going to Get in the way of that if it's delayed a bit? Are you expecting yeah, the delay are not the main concern. The concern will be how I'm going to manage. I've had hands on experiences before, but this working trip has been slightly different. I've had more contact with people and there's been less formalities. It's the type of program I've been looking for for some time and I'm very happy to have done and achieved what we have, me and the Red Cross. You knew the statistics before you came, you were briefed on them, but has the reality of Angola been more shocking than you expected? Yes, I knew the statistics, but putting a face to those figures brought the reality home to me. 
like when I met Sandra, the 13-year-old girl, two days ago who had lost her leg. You know, for people like her, you know, the rest of her life will be very different. But, and we must stop the landmines if we can. It's been a very intense four days. I have seen a great, great deal. I've seen the people affected by landmines. I've seen the landmines themselves. Angola is an example of what the Red Cross can achieve around the world, given the sort of cooperation that we have seen it, that exists between the Red Cross and the NGOs and the Angolan authorities. Can I just ask one question, but you don't have to answer it. It's just a sound. We all would pretend we ask this question. Um, this has been quite a different trip. Is this the new hands-on role you see for the future? Well, yeah. I don't know. Well, I already answered yes, it, Jenny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you want to ask which one do you want to ask? The, the most moving moment? Well, yeah, the most moving moment. Yeah. What, can we okay. ask you to ask you that question about the political role? In I would have thought that was the most important question out of the two. I'd go for that one. Which one? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> no, no, I mean the one saying I'm not a political figure. Yes, exactly. Right. That's fine. Were you surprised at the political furore that uh, came out as a result of your visit here to Angola? It was merely a distraction. And the fact is I'm a humanitarian figure, not one who is a political, political, sorry, can we do that again? Sure. <coughs> Were you surprised at the political furore that developed as a result of your visit to mm -hmm. Angola? I saw it merely as a distraction because I'm not a political figure. I, I, I am a humanitarian figure and always have been, and always will be. ITN.